child labor in Nigeria cannot be overemphasized. As a staggering 15 million children under the age of 14 are working across Nigeria, most are exposed to long hours of work, dangerous and unhealthy environments with too much responsibility for their age. Working in these hazardous conditions with little or no pay, no education, and no medical care. My name is Sunday Jinibe. I'm, a, I'm a 14 years old, and I started this work 2015, and now it's 2019. Child labor in Nigeria has significantly increased over the couple of years, with mounting poverty has driven millions of children into child labor. In 2006, we were in 2014. 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 We were years Twenty twenty two, Mama, six years, Lord of me. Fair for me, six years, Colo Lord of me, coffee, fruit, Tiana Colo, Batty, and Oma, Lord JJ. Go to Colo to me, on my mom for Nick, on my uncle or Ranch, and come to Colo to me, my machine will go on Latin, on my Ranch, or Danny, or yeah, Matuloba, my wife, and my wife, or I lost you, she'll be by. Then what is the idea between I caught it, go caught it. Children are forced to work for themselves and their family's survival. The money they earn becomes part of the poor family's income. My name is Ramon. I do for Ghana's job. I am 18 years old. I started this work in 2016. I Working children have no time, money, or energy to go to school. Child labor is a part of child abuse, and uh, child labor would define it. A situation where you employ a child, then the child is not allowed to go to school. Hmm? So that's child labor. And you see, in Nigeria, our culture actually um, 
promotes uh, children supporting their parents. But it's not the way we are doing it now. People will go to the village. They will take up children, promise their parents that they're going to send them to school. They will come to town. They turn the children to another thing. The children will stay at home. Their own children will be going to school, you know. And these children, it's not that they are paying them or they're paying their parents. You know, they go to the village in the name of supporting. They will take these children and bring them here. My organization, Child to Child Network, we work with street children. We rescue children from the streets. And when we rescue them, a lot of them are from outside Nigeria. Some of them are from different uh, states in Nigeria, you know. Then you will see, we have some of these boys from Benin now. They don't know where they come from, you know, because they were brought here as small children. Now, because they were being maltreated, they were not sent to school. Like one said, they woke up very early in the morning to start dressing up to go to the shop. You know, then they will, they will not give them food until very late in the night. So he got tired of that, so he left. You understand? That boy, now he, he has finished, he's in the university. You understand? He, but we've taken him to Kotonu because they brought him as a boy, as a uh, seven year or so. He, don't, he cannot even speak the language and all that. You know? So that's the way we are wasting our children. About six million Nigerians, both boys and girls, do not attend school at all, while one million are forced to drop out due to poverty. Domestic servants are the least visible and often sexually harassed. It also exposes children to abuse and exploitation. Some weeks ago, this woman, the mo woman, the, the brother, not that it, it is a... It is not, it's a far relative. That's the woman's younger brother's daughter. Because the man is, uh, is poor. So he now said, okay, let me take your daughter and train the girl. They brought the girl to Lagos. They put her in school small. They removed, take her away from school. And now said she should go and learn hairdressing or whatever. But before she would go there, early morning she would go and hawk. She would go and sell things for the woman. So by the time she, it's time she will go for, to learn her work. When she finishes, she will go to the woman's shop. Then she will close with the woman by the time she gets home. You know. So it happened that she said the woman's son asked her to wash clothes. She said, okay, when I come back, that was her offense. The, the man beat the hell out of her. If you see her body, upon that, she, they, carry, they said she should carry the load to still go and sell. So she got to a place, she sat down, she was crying. That was when people called us to see this child, you know. So when they called the father, the man was weeping. That that was not what the promise, the sister promised him. You know, he was weeping. We had to take the child from them. But we went to mama to uh, take, we took her to police station. You know, she said it was the girl that took her to police station. She said, no, the girl did not ask us the child was seen on, on the street crying, you know. So at the end of the day, we we'll turned the girl back home. The category of child labor in Nigeria include the following. Street vendors, beggars, shoe shiners, car washers, scavengers, and feet washers. Other categories include apprentice mechanics slash vulcanizers, bus conductors, carpenters, iron metal workers, hairdressers, and domestic servants. The government has shown commitment by implementing the West Africa Cocoa Agricultural Project, WACAP, and by passing the Child Right Act, Section 28 and 29, into law, where it prohibits exploitative labor and enforces Section 58 to 64 of the Labor Decree of 1974. The most important thing is for us to empower our children, let them know the right thing, and when not only them, so when they see a child that is being abused, to speak out. And these days, honestly, from the awareness and all that, a lot of children are reporting, not their own, but when it happens to their friends, they are reporting. 
substantial legislation is now in place. While legal enforcement remains another challenge to be met, there is a need to raise awareness and combat child labor in Nigeria. To enjoy more of these our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.